Yo, what's up with it? This your boy Nuni, and it's Leo in the third house, back with another reading. This is going to be another random read for another random sign, but it's not random because I already chose the sign. This is going to be for you, Pisces. So Pisces, let's get started. Don't want to do too much talking. We're going to get going. All right, let's see. Boom, fifth house. All right, could be dealing with a Leo, or this could be about entertainment, enjoying, going out, having a good time. All right, let's see what's clarifying by that. All right, I've seen the word sex, fertility. So you may want to be careful of that because children, all right? So you could be finally loosening up, having a good time, or this could be something that you like to do on a regular, all right? That's a lot. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, could be dealing with a Aquarius, all right? This could be a friend, all right? Anyway, you're getting out of a new, oh, okay, okay. So you're getting out of a tough cycle, all right? So you're going to be exposing the real version of you, the true you, all right? So this is detaching from an outcome with love. All right, so you've been through a hard cycle, a hard pattern. All right, this is like persevering, pushing, pushing, being resilient, trying to make things happen. Even when you really didn't think that you could or wouldn't make it through, you still kept going, all right? This is the energy of detaching from the outcome of situations that you thought should play out a certain way, all right? And getting out of that fear-based mentality. Okay, good. Let's look at that. Let's look at that. What we got here? All right, so taking some time out to pre-ponder something. To consider something so maybe you're looking at oh yeah getting over that okay so this is what i was thinking i think you're starting to look back at how far you may have already come getting out of that energy of feeling like there's not enough or i haven't done enough or i'm not enough it's getting out of that energy coming into more of an energy of self-worth all right getting over past uh, disappointments and letdowns all right trying to but you're still kind of confused about where you would like to take situations yeah you're still Seven of Cups with the Knight of I mean, with the Knight of uh, Swords in reverse. It's still a confusion on how to move past these disappointments, how to get over this situation that feels like a, a culmination of destruction or a culmination of anxiety. Maybe it's anxiety that I'm feeling, because it's almost like I'm sweating but I'm not hot. So maybe it's like anxiety that you deal with. Um, you got some opportunities coming up here. This could be options in love. Or this could be options in work because I got eight of pentacles. So it could be options in love, options in work. All right. This could be schooling. This could be work. This could be uh, training, studying. All right. Maybe even learn an instrument like the harp or like a stringed instrument, violin. All right. So you're going to be giving yourself the value that you want other people to give you. All right. And this is going to in turn give you more opportunities, more options. All right. There's something that you haven't really quite let go of yet. It has to do with a Leo. Maybe you haven't let go of a Leo quite just yet. All right. You're not trusting your intuition in this situation. All right. This person is very attractive to you. They're very harmonious. You guys get along very well. Um, you guys probably do bicker, though, too, because I got that bickering. So you guys get along, but there's a lot of maybe it doesn't last long or the bickering doesn't last long. There's a lot of attraction to this person that's coming in. If it's a new person. All right. This could be a person that's outside of your work, outside of your friend group. Um, or there's someone who likes to work alone. They like to be alone. Princess of Cups. So this is someone who's going to be very romantic, but they're going to be romantic with a, with a condition. All right. So this is someone who, who shares feelings and emotions, almost weaponized. They use their feelings and emotions in strategic ways to get what it is that they want. All right. This is someone who can lose attraction for you pretty quick, too, as well. Right now, this is just like a fling almost, you know, because the fifth house does represent fling. So this is someone who may be here for a short time as well. You know, they, they, they have like a lot of passion for you. There's a lot of drive, a lot of hope to get into involved into this situation. Now, if this isn't necessarily sex, this is someone who has a lot of creative ideas, a lot of passionate ways to make things happen. They're an initiator, they're a self-starter, but they are someone who kind of gives to get. So when they offer something, they expect you to give them something in return. All right. This is someone who also doesn't really play loyalty. They're, they're open. They leave their options open for the field. So maybe they're working with you, but they may work with someone else. All right, this is someone who um, they don't like to express themselves fully. Like if they express themselves as in a way, like I said, to gain control of a situation or if they express themselves as in a way to kind of like hide themselves, not to, to express how much they're really into something. They don't want to give away how much they really care about something or how much they really love something. They more want to see if you guys share the same beliefs before they really show their hand. That's who this person is. All right. So there could be this energy of you working hard and being diligent, yet not really caring for the expectation of how this whole situation turns out. All right. So you may just be going through this for the experience just to just to have something to do. All right. 
most likely that's what it seems like because you went through a period of time that was very difficult all right this could be something that like maybe entails with dealing with de dealing with hobbies or passion like there's passion here so this person shares in that so you guys might either share like the same beliefs same hobbies same i know it's a level of attraction that's going to be here because this person is very uh sexually attracted to you all right this is someone who's very smart very analytical they're gonna be very communicative they're gonna be very witty very funny all right, this is a person who you're very sexually attracted to. We got Capricorn here as well, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, all right, and Sagittarius. So this could be a fire sign, could be an earth sign, could be an air sign, all right? This is someone who does want to offer feelings and emotions. They could be very creative, but they may not, they may be more flirty than anything. Like they're real funny and giggly. And I haven't really seen too much uh, grown, grown man or grown woman energy except for the Queen of Wands. And... That, so this is a person who's very attractive and they know they're very attractive. So this is someone who knows who knows themselves. They know their value kind of. They, so they're, Or at least they know that they're very attractive and that they get a lot of attention. Okay, so this is someone who likes to play. They know they're very sexually alluring. They like to play. They're very abundant. They're very creative. They're very outgoing. They're very exuberant. All right, like very, like, you know, this is a person who's a self-starter. Okay, they are very creative. All right, um, and like I said, very attractive. But what I'm what I'm really picking up is is that this person is looking to get over something that they had in the past. So they're looking. So this is like I said, this is probably just a short term fling because they're looking for sex. They're looking to offer you something, but they're not looking to really create anything long term. They're just looking for a good time, a short term, a short time. You know, something for fun, something to see where this can go. But they don't really want to see where it can go. They just want to get over a past grievance or a past heartbreak that they had in the past. All right, they're trying to let go of that, some type of resentment that they're still holding on to. Could be with a Leo. All right. Um, I don't know, this, this child just wants to, like, a nostalgic feeling. They just want to have, I said this child. This person just wants to have, maybe they want to have kids. They just want to have, like, a good time. They just want to kind of, like, mm, I was going to say drink their worries away. So maybe they drink, you know, they want to just, they just want to enjoy themselves. That's all this person really wants to do is enjoy themselves. All right. And they're sleeping on a judgment. They haven't really made a decision or a judgment on how how to proceed with this situation. Like they they haven't even created a real view on how they see the situation. You know, they kind of feel like maybe you can help them up. That's what this person feels like. They feel like you can help them up, but they're not quite sure how. So they're probably just gonna flirt with you, be very outgoing, very jovial, very kid-like, playful, you know, bring in a lighthearted energy, very much excitement and all that good stuff. But they're not quite sure where the situation will go. You know, they do have love, but they feel like they're swam like maybe they're swarming, swarming, huh? What is swarming? Like they're swarming and emotions. So this person is like, they haven't really processed their feelings and emotions. So don't 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 get yourself caught up trying to make this something that it's not. Because this person hasn't fully uh, gotten over something in the past that they haven't really healed from. They're still holding on to some past regretment or some past regret and resentment. All right. And this this is what's what's being illuminated by this relationship with you. So it's gonna become clear to you probably. If you take your time, because they're saying guard your heart and guard your uh, guard your heart and guard your mind. So don't let them play games with you. Don't let them confuse you. Don't let them run you astray. This person is just here for a short term, sort of like another sign I just seen. They're just coming into your life to kind of uh, either brighten up the mood for you or lighten up the mood for you. Because when the fifth house shows up, this is a need to get more creative, to really uh, go out and explore and to enjoy yourself, the nightlife type of stuff. So this is like getting outside of a comfort zone, especially after a hard time. This is like a a fresh breath of fresh air. It's like it's like just going back into society and people offer you warm bread and cookies or whatever, you know, fresh back to the to the village. People are like, "Hey, we're so glad you're here." Here. So this person is going to be like a gift from the divine as a way of replenishing your cup and filling you back up and giving you this sense of confidence and, you know, just, you know, you don't have to take this anywhere. It doesn't have to go anywhere. You can just go on a couple of dates. It doesn't have to be sex. They're just very sexually attracted to you. So this is going to give you the energy of being very much wanted and desired. And this is going to help your confidence and it's going to help your creative, your creative abilities. Okay. So let's get, uh, let's get with the advice. Are you hiding a secret you feel? Are you hiding a secret you fear you think will now come to light? So a secret that you have, you may be afraid that is coming to light. All right. And that's what it's asking, all right? Some type of secret you have, you're afraid may come to light. What do we got? Prayer and prayer. So two prayers. Dear guardian angel, help me dissolve past guilt or regret. Help me see that all is perfect and in divine order. Help me let go of the fear that I project on my future. 
Help me to live fully within each precious moment and fill your eternal love within and around me. Help me to realize and fulfill my true potential. Thank you. And then we have prayer again. Dear God, help me always to remember that this life is pre that this present life is but a fleeting moment within eternity. Help me always to remember that this life is but a dream. Help me always to remember that you exist within everyone and everything. Help me always to remember that love is all there is and all else is an illusion. So, Pisces, that was your reading. Thanks for watching. This your boy Nooney and this Leo in the third house.